Good morning. Welcome to Tin Barn Farm. I uh, got to show you something today, and uh, it's, there is a big help on the farm, so stay tuned. So we received in the mail a couple of boxes of boots. Boys, go ahead and open these things up. And uh, our boys are very excited for these because what do you use them for, Curtis? Uh, so we don't get our boots muddy in the horse pen. <laughs> That's right. In the horse pen, cow pen, pig pens. And uh, these are these are some awesome boots. They're Hess boots. Oh, this has got a strap on the back to a little bit different, keep them tighter. Yeah. Um, we received a pair of these last year and been the best mucking boots we've had. So anyways, we are cleaning corrals today and we're gonna put these things to the test. Big time, what do you think, Z? Yeah, I like them. Do you like them? Yeah. <laughs> Way better than uh, what you got on, right? Yeah. It doesn't feel very good when you sloshing around in that stuff and that's that stuff we're sloshing around in is squeezing between your toes, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Z? Yeah. Do you like that feeling or no? No. All right, well, let's get these boots on and uh, get to work. And these feel good. I'm ready to go shovel some poop. <laughs> yeah. What about you? I like them. They feel like they keep your feet protected. Yeah, especially from that slimy stuff that squishes between your toes. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, they sent us a little surprise in here. What is this, Z? Uh, I think it's a farm case. How does it work? Open it up. Put it around your neck, huh? Mm -hmm. Andy, call him. See if he can answer it through there. Does it work through there? Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. huh. Works in there, huh? Cool. When I'm out sloshing, then I don't have to worry about it, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ruthie got a package in the mail, and uh, it was her birthday not too long ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, of July. yeah, it's her birthday, so I think somebody sent you a birthday gift. What is it? Look at there. Whoa. That's a fancy halter. Yeah. That's nice. Hold it up there. See if it fits on your brother. There you go. It might fit around his body. Yeah, <laughs> like a harness, huh? <laughs> Show it off, George. Let's see that thing. Turn. There you go. All right, take it off there. Let's, what do you think? Think it'll fit your, fit your horse? I don't know. It might be big on him, but... We'll try it. And, yeah. and it can uh, change the adjustments like well. Yeah. Yeah. Adjustments and so. That's awesome. Yep. I think it's gonna match polka dots color with the silver and I think it's gonna accent his eyes. What do you think? Yeah. Ooh, got a there's a wasp there. One stung me the other day. <laughs> anyways, so anyways, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Thank you, Darlene, for this halter. I really like it, and I hope it fits polka dot. Yeah, we'll try it out on him soon. Yeah. So, um, when we first got him, we didn't know much about him when I started riding him. So, and I was super scared the first time I rode him. But, so, and I rode him, and then I walked him. Then I started riding him a bunch, and I loved it. 
So the behind the scenes story there is he was, he's been really leery of horses. And so his mom and I were discussing things one night and said, how can I get George to get over that? And uh, Sandra, I think his mom says, well, why don't you give him a horse? So I said, all right, we'll give him Scooter as a project horse slash his horse. So it was time to, to get him moving on out of the program. And so I had to give him that horse to start with now. Well, Johnny, you've sold Big Gray to Steve here. Yep. Yep. Steve, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, Johnny. You've done a great job. Thanks. Looking forward to taking him home. <laughs> so we're going to be doing the Coggins test Tuesday yep. and the health certificate. And then we'll get that stuff back and Steve will come pick him up next weekend. Next weekend we'll be here. So, all right. Yep. All right, let's shake on it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, it's been a great day so far. We sold the big gray, so that is awesome. But I wanted to give you an update of our garden here on the homestead. It is looking phenomenal. This is some uh, pumpkins and squash back there. And then this is our cornfield here. And we have some sweet peas going right down through here. And back there in that greenhouse is the tomatoes, but don't this look great? That is awesome. Looking really good. So this is the pumpkin place here, or pumpkin stuff. You can see a big pumpkin right underneath there growing. And uh, we got quite a few pumpkins set on through here. And the sweet peas are going good. Our uh, cabbage, look at those cabbage over there. Cabbage are looking really good. We love our cabbage salad, which is really good. Uh, so this has that plastic mulch in there, and the weeds are growing between it, which we've just let the weeds grow between them. I'm not really worried because they're not competing directly with the plants there because the plastic's there. So, anyways, we love it. The garden's awesome. Well, there's those boots. We are cleaning horse pens. We've had some really big rains here recently, and it is time to <clears throat> clean some poop out of here. That's yeah, mostly mud, but we're going to be moving this stuff out of here. So I know it's loud, but we're I'm getting, we've been cleaning corrals today, and we haul pine needles. We use pine needles for bedding for these horses. So come along with me, and we'll load some pine needles up. All right, so this is uh, Hess and this is Sky, and they're going to, uh, uh, we're gonna let them do their thing. Uh, this is gonna be, he's gonna be breeding her, so turn them loose. Get out of there, Curtis. Turn her loose. Uh, 
So when a horse is in heat, she'll pee for him and she's just, she's like, here, come smell this. You know I'm ready for you. They're trying to make it happen. He's gonna put her in her place first. Watch out, guys. Hey, Scott. Tin Barn Farm, over and out.